What makes me bought into the vision of Victory Park is that <laughs> as amazing of a church as World Overcomers is and has always been, we have never owned anything that was ours. We were like the MacGyver of like churches. It's like we see a warehouse and we're like, yeah, but I see a wall right here. I see a children's ministry here. Now it's like we get to own something and make it whatever we want it to from the laying of the foundation. I've seen world overcomers from Garrett Road from the start. When we're in that little sanctuary with the glass mirrors, I remember when we transitioned from my home church, when we went to World Overcomers, within the first 30 seconds of us being there, like I tapped my mom and I was like, this is it. Um, just because the worship was just so electrifying, I felt the worship and I felt the presence of the Lord. I've been going to World Overcomers since I was 13 years old. Like from working in the bookstore to <laughs> leading worship in Overcoming Kids Extreme Zone um, to Generation Joshua to leading worship in One Life to now being the worship pastor. It's like I've seen the seed. I have seen it be planted. I've seen it be watered and now it's like harvest time is here for us. But what I've learned over the years is that there is work, there is a sacrifice um, in order for it to go from a seed until you see fruit again. Like I feel like I'm a part of it. It's like I'm a part of the watering of it. I'm a part of the growing, I am a piece of fruit of world overcomers. That's why I am so bought into Victory Park. I do my part because this is our church.